everyone. All right, my lovey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is me, Chopet. Meow. I belong to the great fashion designer, King Carly of Paris. And this is my tail. <laughs> A Chopet tail. <laughs> Many, many, many years ago, my Carly made a deal with that Queen Anna of America. The deal was he would gain more success and in exchange she could cast her spell of winter over Paris. The result is just cold winner all the time. No playing or having fun. It's just work, work, staying indoors, work, and staying indoors these days in Paris. Of course, Carly loves me and he treats me so well. But he's got me all hidden up in the cold and in a castle with boring caviar <laughs> and cashmere and nothing to do except watch him work all the time. I really miss my mate like Kate Mouse and the action down below, you know like the fights and the laughs, oh <laughs> and the tomcat. <laughs> So, I have something to ask you people of Primrose Hill, alright? But it would be really great if you would help me persuade Carl to let me play outside. So, yeah? Will you help me? Yeah! I can't hear ya! Yeah! Oh, great, thank you, peeps. Look, shall I tell you my plan? Yeah. I've got to ask old my old mate Coco Chanel to give him a visit in his dream. Well, she is a ghost after all. When she arrives, will you give her a cheer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, guys. A cheer. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, oh, here he comes. Shh. Shush, everyone. Don't tell him my plan, all right? Here I am, the King Carl of Paris, the greatest designer in the world, according to me and Queen Anna. I work all of the time, and I don't believe in fun. No, playing is not for me, boo. Stop it! Yeah? When is Queen Anna arriving? Uh, tomorrow. <gasps> You're joking with the Carl Nine? Sorry, <laughs> oh dear, tomorrow. <laughs> Meow. Yeah, tomorrow's King Carly. Don't call me Carly. But uh, you used to love it when I called you Carly, you know, before the winter. Don't mention that word, winter. <laughs> it's coming. I mean, she's coming. The queen of all the winters. Yeah, Anna. She always expects so much. And I have no more fresh ideas to feed her. Oh, Chopin, what shall I do? I need a miracle. I need a lie down. No. Oh, yeah, Carly. I mean, Carl. A lie down is exactly what you need. Yeah. Sleep will restore your brilliant mind and produce some fresh, great ideas for Queen Anna. Yeah. And my old mate Coco can give him a visit. Oh, thank you, Chopin. You are a kind and considerate companion. And now I will lay me down and sleep. I am so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a terrible dream. I'm having a dream. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. What? What is this vision from the past? Oh, is it a ghost? No, it can't be. It looks like... Coco Chanel, the greatest designer of them all, apart from myself. Garn, Garn, me, 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 design. Coco Chanel is the greatest designer that once was. Come to visit you in your dream, or nightmare if you prefer. Oh? I am the giver of great things, creativity, fresh ideas, and my rather stunning handbags and parfums are quite popular too. <laughs> Will you listen to me tonight before your ideas run out? And Queen Anna finds out and chops off your head and replaces you with Marc Jacobina. Oh, I am listening, but I don't believe it. Is this really happening? Oh, yes, girl. This is really happening. I have this 
original. Necklace ou un zit la fille a has a bit. Original necklace. For you as proof if you like. It was the first sample from my 1932 bijou collection. Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm so grateful, but why me? Because you have made the people of Paris work so hard. They have beckoned me in their dreams to come and lift this spell of constant work and winter. Choupette and the people remember a time of play and fun. And Choupette wants to get muddy and chase Cat Mouse and meet Tom Cat. What? I don't understand. I thought everybody liked working all the time. <laughs> Nobody likes to work all of the time, Carl. I learned the hard way and now I am a ghost. So, it's time it stopped. Okay. Here's the deal. Change your ways right now. Lift the spell of constant winter and constant working and I will give you three excellent but simple ideas for your meeting with Anna tomorrow. But what will life be like without working all the time? What will I do? Will she pets to return home after she meets the tomcats and plays with a wild Kate Mouse? Life will be better and more brilliant than you ever imagined. You can take your pet skiing and ice skating. You can laugh again and play games. The alternative, may I remind you, is to face Queen Anna tomorrow with no fresh idea. Okay, okay, you win. I will stand <laughs> up to Anna, whatever that looks like. Yeah, I will make the changes reluctantly, but I will keep my word. Yeah, and Chupette will report to me if you do not. You know my Chupette? Yes, your monsieur. She is a very special cat. You need to listen to her more often. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Let me begin my magic. So, the first idea is a quilted leather bag in softest plastic with a chain strap. It will be called the 2.55. Oh, but why the 2.55? Just because of February 1955 was important. Just trust me, okay? Okay, it pains me to say this, but you're the boss. <laughs> the second idea is a wool jacket with a contrast trim and gives buttons. Oh, so And the third is... A new perfume called number five. Why number five, Coco? Because, because this is my lucky number. And Marilyn Monroe wears nothing else. Um. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 With the air of ever present winner. Maybe you didn't get the memo, which said that I would appreciate it if you only speak when I ask, and I prefer it if you don't look at me directly. Oh, and if I want your opinion, I will ask, and only then may you give it. Now, where is my King Carl of Paris? I have to go see Princess Mew Mew of Milan soon after this. Here I am, oh dear and brilliant Anna. <laughs> Excellent. Because I am. <laughs> I am hungry for your new ideas, Carl. I have come rather a long way, especially because I have a feeling your new ideas will be really good. And they need to be really good for me to keep you on the throne, my Carl, okay? Well, it's funny you should say that. Funny? I don't think Mark Jacobian finds me funny. Maybe I need to ask him. I'm nine. <laughs> what I mean is, uh, it is interesting because, and you may not believe this, but I will continue anyway. The ghost of Coco Chanel. The ghost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know we don't believe in these things. But I can prove it was her. I mean Coco, because she left me this necklace of which nothing like it has ever been seen. We've had the Chanel archivists analyze it, and this is the original one. The original one? Well, now you must realize what you are saying and what you have here. This is truly a fashion miracle, a moment, a front cover. Oh, Anna, I'm so <laughs> pleased you are so pleased. Because there was a condition that Coco gave me, or rather us. A condition? What? Surely everyone knows I cannot be manipulated in this way. No one tries to control Queen Anna. 
Carl, do I need to remind you of this? Yeah, yeah, of course. Everyone respects the opposition on power and brilliance, Queen Anna. But Coco Chanel, she gives these genius oh, yeah, ideas to me. And she wants us to remove the ever-present air of winter once and for all. What? But that's my power. How? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we will still respect you, Queen Anna. But maybe we might all like some, and I can't believe I'm saying this, playtime. And there I say it, I don't know what it is, fun? Apparently it's a new health Sing. What do you think? These ideas better be brilliant, Carl. No more H and M tap. No more leather ties and ponytails. Yeah, yeah, they are superb. They are uniquely original, never seen before, and more importantly, very difficult to be copied. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, the first idea is brace yourself. A quilted leather bag in the softest calf skin with a chain strap. Oh, it, hold it up, hold it up. It It'll be called the 2.55, how do they say it? I don't know. 2.55. The second idea is a wool jacket with a contrast trim and gilt buttons. And the third is, little girl, hold it up, please. Yeah. And now the last one, an intriguingly special perfume modifier called Chanel number no. 5. <laughs> My, Carl, I believe you. These ideas are so fresh and unique, they must have come from Coco herself. They even make me strangely happy. Oh! So happy, I might want to play. Yes, let's indeed lift the ever present air of winter together right now because. Woo! <laughs> Let's <laughs> see.